Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I will be sorting photo cards. So I have a ton to sort. A combination from trades and sales and Miyokyo orders. Um so yeah. Also, um we are in my kitchen this time around because I had the best lighting, I guess. And plus I'm home alone. So we're gonna start with the straight kit binder since it's right in front of me. These are the cards that I need to put away in this binder. Um, we are starting OT8 sets up in here. <laughs> Very exciting. Um, I did want to point out that I did change layouts in my binder. Um, so I did do like a six pattern here so that way it like mirrored each other in the corners. Um, and I did that for the photo cards that had like six cards. Or the pages that had six cards. Sorry. Oh my god, I can't speak. So first we're going to put away this Lino. I actually bought it. You can't tell, but it had like a little bit of residue on here. I don't know if it was from the seller or where it was from, but yeah, I bought that card. So we have four of the eight members for this page. This is exciting. Um, did I put that in the right way? Yes, I did. Um, I also do have this one on the way from a group order, which is so exciting. I'm happy about that because his cards go for a lot of money. Next, we're going to go to Yellowwood, and I have Sungmin's Outdoor, which I actually pulled in an extra set of Stray Kids albums that I bought, and I meant to unbox on camera, but I deleted the footage, <laughs> so he's going to go right here. So again, we have four of the eight members, and then we're going to go to a Bonter, to my OT8 set here, and I have this Lino. Um, again, purchased it from the same seller that I got the, um, other Lino card from. Okay. So, again, we have four of the eight members, which is exciting. And then we're going to go to my Jisung special page real quick. There it is. Because I finally found this other, um, Tower of God top card. And that's going to go right here in the middle. <laughs> So he's got a full ass page, and then there's these two. I ended up moving um, my season's greetings cards just so I can like at least fill up some pages. So that was it for stray kits. So next we're gonna move on to the other groups binder because that was what was next in the pile. Um, so we have a combination of a couple of cards. So we're gonna start with Monster X first. Um, I did want to point out some changes in this binder as well, since y'all are going to notice them right away. Um, with Ace, what I did was I changed this to a five pattern because I can't find the six card. I can't find the six card to save my life for a good price. Um, and so I just decided, you know what, just collect the five cards and then if you find the six card eventually or they reprint the album, then that's fine. Um, and then, let's see, I'm really considering just dropping down to Sworn for this, but I did just drop down for her inclusion. For Itzy, I just decided to um, cut down to just lay the solo cards, so um, new comeback will come here eventually. Um, and I decided to keep her big things as well. So, now we're on to Monster X. We're going to go to State of Love real quick. Okay, so I do have Kihyun's message card, so that's going to go there. Taking his collection very slowly, just because I wasn't planning on adding him for Fatal Love, and then I pulled one of his cards, so I kind of had to at that point. Um, I did get Shonu's um, postcard and also his bookmark. I just decided to put the bigger inclusions in here on my own. Here's another collection where I have um, some changes, and that is my Solgi collection. I decided to only collect one or two cards per release, just because finding all of those finale cards really was putting me in a really bad spot. So, I did end up trading for this, um, her Summer Magic Limited Transparent card. Um, I traded for it for one of my Wendy finale cards, and yeah, I was very apprehensive about the trade, but I did it anyway. Next we're going to go all the way to Wavy. Um, they don't have much change. Um, I did get Lucas's postcard from a friend and I did have this somewhere. 
Didn't I? I thought I put it in here. Hold on. Oh no, maybe I put in a buy request for it. That's why I'm thinking that I have it. So we're going to go to um, their new comeback. And so I traded with someone for this Lucas. I love his red hair. Very cute, very cute. So that's going to go there. And nothing else for him. But I do want to point out one thing is that I did buy two NCT albums and I did pull a Johnny photo card. Um, and Johnny's my second bias in NCT 127. So I had to do it. <laughs> I had to keep them. So I'm trying to see if I can put the other cards that I pulled up for trade for Johnny. So if you have any Johnny, let me know. But um, again, I know it's hard to trade for NCT. Um, and I did put the big inclusions that I have in this binder from the Neo Zone album and the Super Rabbit Premium album that I bought. So now we're going to move on to my other boy group's binder, which includes Astro 17, TOO, and the like. So as I mentioned, TOO is in this binder. I changed it because I'm really, really in my feels about TOO. They are actually now TO1, so, or 2-1. I don't know how they're pronouncing it, but very exciting stuff because it's a new chapter for them. And I am obsessed with Wongi. <laughs> so, um, I don't think I have any one of stuff. I think the majority is for Astro, but I wanted to point out something in this section actually. Um, I did just add an extra page for the comeback, but I also decided to collect some special Wongi pre-order cards and other special cards of his just because I miss him and I love him. So I put his MMT here and then what I did with Chihoon and um, Chan Yucks, I kind of put them on the back right here just because. I don't want to sell them off, but I also don't want to get rid of them, so I just kind of put them on the back. So, I think we have actually some 17 stuff to put away first. This is all the cards that I have to put away for this binder. I know, pretty crazy. So we have this S. Coops um, Poet card that I pulled, that I got in my Neo Gyo haul. And I also have a sticker from the real version, so that's going to go right here. Um, I did change this up as well, as you can see, so I put the stickers on their own pages and um, combined as Coops New Vernon. So then, we have the last card for um, Vernon's Henkode set, which is exciting. I have to start as Coops at some point. Maybe I'm thinking just not doing as Coops for the bigger ones, just because it's already a challenge for... Um, for uh, the, 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 this comeback. I know, that's what it's called. <laughs> okay, so now, now we're at the big one. We have all of my MJ cards to put away, which is exciting. I was waiting to put all these away, and their comeback is um, passed, so it's awesome. So we have his first, I kind of did it um, in like this way, this way, so yeah. I'm really excited to complete some of these pages just because um, I've been waiting for these cards for a while. Um, and then, what did I do? Oh, I did it this way just because, just to make it easier on myself. Yeah, okay. I just kind of did it reading order just because it makes it easy, right? I don't know. So... winning a month to put these cards in here so we're, we're excited over in, in this house <laughs> all right so there is all lights all finished <laughs> um all yours is actually really good i mean i haven't listened to the whole album so i haven't like fully listened but now we're gonna move on to blue flame oh, if i can get this page out of here And I did put these in order beforehand, just to make it easy on myself for version order. Um, okay, if I can get that in there. Ugh. This is the story of my life, guys. I can't, <laughs> I can't put these cards in here on camera or else I literally, like, start losing it. Okay. This is my favorite card from him. Probably ever. 
Okay, so I, those are his photo cards, and then I have both of his bookmarks, which I took the um, little thingies off of them so I could fit them in here. Um, very excited. This comeback, I'm very excited about it, um, or at least uh, Astro's comeback. I did also get his postcards, so I put them in here on my own because I just, I hate putting inclusions in on camera. It's not fun. Um, so I did the same thing with Gateway, too. So, here's Gateway. This one's on the way from Yokio. I just haven't marked it yet. Um, so, there's that. <laughs> and then, um, and this is for all yours. Um, and then I, I ended up pulling in my Gateway albums an Unwood poster and an MJ poster. They both blessed me. So, we love them for doing that. Um, so we're gonna flip through my MJ collection real quick just because I'm excited about it. Um, and then I'll just need to send this out to the warehouse whenever I get a chance to. Or when I get it, get a chance to send out a package, so. That was this binder, and we're gonna go on to the last binder, which has a bulk of stuff that's actually making me very excited just thinking about it. So this is my Dreamcatcher Twice and Eyes One album binder thing. <laughs> so this is all for this binder. It's crazy, I know. Um... So, we're going to go to the latest comeback, and so we have a couple of cards for Dreamcatcher actually to put away, so I'll just grab those, which are these four cards. Um, I waited for this one for what seemed like a while, but it probably was not. But this is her, um, like I think it's a gold back, or like, I don't know what the backs are anymore. Um, and then I have these two cards, which... Um, did not realize that they were both limited <laughs> until I bought them and they came in. So, I just need Shion's to complete the row. But, you know, how expensive she gets, so we'll see how that is. Then we have this Hantong, which I traded for, and yeah, no said about that. And then next we're gonna go to Twice. Twice is where I make the most progress, because I bought a lot of Neokyo stuff. Or stuff from Mercari Japan through Neokyo. And some more trades as well. So these are all my twice cards up by the way. So we have this twice what is love card for Jongyeon and for Nyon. So this row is complete. I only need like four-ish cards, five, four cards to finish, five cards to finish um, what is love. So we're almost there, people. We're almost there. And then next we have um, Nyon's letter card thing. I don't know. I don't remember what. Jung Yon's letter is, so I don't know what it's going to spell out eventually, but it'd probably spell out some nonsense. <laughs> and then we have this card for Nyon, which finishes the row, so I just need one more card to finish this page, which is nice. And then we get to the release where I actually finish it. <laughs> uh, we finish Summer Nights in this video. So we have, finally, we have Nyon's signature card from Summer Nights. And this page is complete. And then we have Mina's little twice logo card. This card actually I had to like flatten out a little bit because when I bought it, the seller did not protect it at all and they like stuck the freebies right underneath it, which made like a huge like thing underneath it. So yeah, that was not fun. <laughs> and I promptly told them because I was like, you know what, like that's not acceptable. <laughs> Um, and then we have the last two cards to finish Summer Nights, which are Nyon's Thin Border and Mina's Thin Border. So, we have finished Summer Nights, um, which is exciting because this is one of the first ones that I'm looking forward to finishing. So, yeah. Next we can go on to uh, um, Yes or Yes, which I finally have this card. Um, I did a trade for it a couple months ago, and it took forever for it to get to me, um, but that's because, you know, we're during COVID, and mail from certain countries just take a long time, which I understand, I get it, um, but I was getting really scared, because I was, just, I thought I was getting scammed or something, um, anyway, so, yeah, we have that, and then we have the last two cards that I needed to complete Fancy You. This is going to be a fun time. <laughs> Because I've been waiting to find this card forever. And then we have this one, which I was waiting from my Neo Gear Warehouse for a long time. So we're going to flip through Fancy You real quick. 
I'm just so happy with the way this turned out. I don't know what I'm going to do. I really intended to like rearrange, but I like the way it is now, but we might, we might see later. Um, so that's it for twice, unfortunately. Next we can go on to Eyes 1, and that's where I have the last couple of cards for, for this video. So we have a lot of Eugen cards to put away. First we have this, it was a trade, I am very excited <laughs> to put that away. That was for Color Eyes, which I decided to collect last minute. <laughs> um, and then we have this Eugen Blue Eyes to put away. I don't know if I put this away previously, but I decided to take it out and put it away again. And then we have one for the I Will version for Blue Eyes. And then we have two for One Arc Diary. So, yeah. I also did put my big inclusions from my unboxing in here by myself, just because I just didn't feel like doing it <laughs> on camera again. So I ended up pulling Eugen's AR from One Arc Diary. I don't remember. I think this is the diary version. So, um... That was exciting, so I decided to just collect the ARs. <laughs> and then I have her um, One Rec version, one photo card. So, yeah, we're trying. I'm trying, and then I have this one coming in trade. I don't know when it's going to arrive. It's going to get here eventually, but... Yeah, and then I put my inclusions in here as well. Alright, so that was my sorting photo cards video. Probably for the month of March, because that all came for all of my March stuff. So... Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys soon in another video. Bye!